Let's live! <laughs> hey! Yes, let's! Let's make up for the miserable streams earlier today. Hopefully we will have <coughs> more luck with the uh, 4G gods uh, this time. Uh, does anyone know where I am? Anyone who are who is familiar with this place? Let's see how it goes without the 60 FPS. Oh, it's it's still on 60 FPS. Although it looks very choppy now. It's still the same... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Same settings. Same settings. Just uh, now we're in an area that should have better... Better signal. Ginza, no, not Ginza, not Ginza, this is not Ginza. Nakano, that's correct, that's correct, we are in Nakano. Also, I uh, flipped the microphone, so now the mic is facing me. Uh, so hopefully you can hear me much better uh, compared to before. Uh, but um, that probably means also that the ambient sounds might be a bit weird because they, they're not pick, being picked up so much in front of the camera. Um, so let me know which you, which you uh, think is better. Uh, it's still a little bit of a trial run for my new mic. Anyway, we're in Nakano, my old uh, hometown. I used to live here used to live down this street and then to the left until roughly three years ago. I was living here for about three years. So I think this might still be the place I lived long years in Tokyo. I really enjoyed living here. It's a nice area and it's like it's one stop from Shinjuku. So it's pretty central and convenient. Um, so the plan for this walk is to do a little brief walk around Nakano, but it's extremely crowded. I don't really feel com comfortable walking on the super crowded indoor street. So I'll just walk on some of the back streets here. Um, and then I will start heading towards Shinjuku. I'll walk all the way there. Here we have some politician who is um, but yeah here's the kind of iconic uh, road which is the shopping street here or San, San Mor, San Mor it's called. but as you can see it's extremely crowded so I'm not gonna go inside it's too much too many people Here's a wonderful little soba and udon restaurant. Um, I was able to charge... Um, not as much as I... I was hoping. So, uh, it's in factor for this stream actually. Uh, we shall see. We are currently at 54% battery. Oh, I am getting signal issues. God, what is happening? What Two streams today. Well, technically, this is my third, uh, as I did two this morning. Um, well, the train so far hasn't been crowded at all, so no problem there. Local areas that are very crowded, but yeah, train here was super empty. 
Oh, and maybe I should mention, I mentioned this before, but whenever I pass here, Fujiya Camera, which is one of the best camera shops in Tokyo. We are currently in uh, Nakano. Nakano for quite some time. Third stream and also they do not know what the problem is today. It's been like the last couple of streams has been perfect. No issues at all. And then suddenly today it's like everything's just falling to pieces. I don't know, the only thing I can imagine, I don't think it's an iPhone thing because, I mean, for two weeks now and last week I did several streams and no issues at all. The only thing I can imagine is that the recent update to prison was causing some sort of issues, but um, yeah. I'll provide. Mm, I don't know. This time I restarted the phone before starting the stream, so there's nothing lingering in the background either. So, yeah. I really don't know. The thing is, the bitrate is the same if it's 60 or 30, as I set the bitrate manually to... Usually it's been 6,000 kilobits lately, and that's been working fine, but now we're doing 4,000, which is, you know, quite a significant decrease, but yeah. I mean, I could change to 30 FPS, but it would still be the same bitrate, so it's just that it gets compressed more each frame. I used to go to this bar a lot, 80s bar. Duke 80s. Oh, this is the Japanese edition. They have one with uh, Western 80s music that I used to go to a lot. This is Nakano, just west from Shinjuku. Yes, we had a plane, no helicopter, just a plane.
Lots of people out eating and drinking today, which is understandable because the weather is very nice. Well, I watched the Virtual Japan stream this morning and it seemed like he had quite a fair bit of issues as well. Um, I don't know which codec uh, Prism uses, if it's H.264 or 265. I, I don't know and uh, it's not possible to change that in Prism. Oh, let's go down here to one of my favorite buildings in the area. Ah, weather report, yes. And shout out to Wishful Walking Videos, who is my mega sponsor, uh, as well as Mikael Eideholm. Uh, you two support the channel a lot, and that's highly appreciated. Please check out Wishful Walking Videos channel. It's linked in the video description. Or no, it's not because, okay, I will link it in the video description. I usually do, but this stream was made directly from uh, Prism, so I couldn't really post my usual text in there. I will do that once it's done. Anyway, here's, uh, in my opinion, one of the coolest buildings in Nakano. World Kaikan, which is very, very old by now, but still it has a really cool exterior. Lots of small bars in here, some like anime, karaoke, um, karaoke bars, and whatnot. Yeah, well, YouTube stock up, that means going down to 720, which is hardly ideal. We'll see. I think so far now here in Nakano, it seems to be okay. There's a few hiccups maybe once in a while, but not nearly as bad as it used to be. So let's see how... Oh, and weather report. <laughs> I think I did one earlier, but let's do it again. Nakano. Uh, so, 22 degrees, sunny. Calm. Two hundred fifty-six RAM. Um, well, that doesn't sound like something I can change here on the phone. Uh, I'm afraid. So let's go down one more block. Yeah, <laughs> the coffee shop, it, it did get uh, demonetized uh, as expected, that clip, uh, because of the music in the coffee shop. Um, 
but uh, yeah, it was nice. We had a good time. We enjoyed it. No beer time. Oh, well, I've had lunch now, so nothing's really stopping me from grabbing a beer. At some point, maybe. Any destination in mind? Yeah, I'm thinking if I should walk to Shinjuku, but question is... I don't think I have the battery for that. I might have to make this somewhat shorter stream. Uh, we shall see. But anyway... Here's another shopping street that continues this way, but I think I will turn around here and head back down towards the station and then uh, to the other side uh, of Nakano and uh, from there walk towards uh, Shinjuku. Under 50 people watching now. Nice! Thank you all, yes, and it would be extremely helpful if you would press the like button. That's good for the algorithm and whatnot. <laughs> Sounding like a cyborg now, I don't have the battery. Yeah, sorry, today became a bit of a mess. Um, I was very eager to shoot, try doing another stream now, and then once it gets a bit darker, I will record a 4K video or two before I head home. So, yeah, because there's uh, some bad weather coming up, so I won't be able to shoot for a few days. So I would like to have a few videos in store. Oh, thank you, Fungus. Thank you so much. Uh, do you have a dead cat for the new mic? It's, no, it's the stock windshield. Uh, I will order a dead cat because I might need one. But uh, let me know, has there been any wind noise at all today? Nakano is super nice, like I said. Of all the places I lived in Tokyo. I really enjoyed here. Yeah, after this stream I will sit down and recharge the battery for the evening videos that I will be shooting. There was a bit, bit of wind noise, oh really? So yeah, lots of nice bars and restaurants around here. That's one of the reasons why I enjoyed living here so much. Like, it's, it's never boring. There's so much to do. And even though I lived here for three years, there's like probably hundreds of, of bars and restaurants that I haven't been to yet. So That's pretty nice. Yeah, I already did streaming and now I'm streaming again. But I just feel I need to make up for this morning. Just a moment, folks. I'm disconnecting a cable here. I was charging my other phone from my external battery. I want to take a photo here because this looks like a good thumbnail spot. The backlighting and all. 
Okay, there we go. Uh, is the construction of Rengasaka finally complete? Um, fungus. I don't know. Let's go check it out. It's been a construction zone still under construction. So Uh, now I'm getting a bit but poor signal. Maybe I should try reinstalling Prism. See if that makes any difference. Long shot though. But it's so weird, like last weekend when I did the Monzen Nakacho Imperial Palace stream, we did like two and a half hours. On overheated, there was barely any hiccups whatsoever. Same, same. No problems. So I find it very odd why suddenly got and I mean here, like next to Nakano Station, there's a bloody Dokomo Tower over there. I find it very unlikely that signal is an issue. Yes, S. I think you've told us that about five times now that some plaza will de be demolished. So let's head over here to the other side of the station. I don't know if the mic could potentially cause some sort of interference. That sounds extremely unlikely, but yeah, you never know. towards Rengazaka just for you fungus <laughs> you're feeling honored I'm honored too to have great viewers such as you always supporting me and watching my streams. Of course I will do something in return for my loyal fans and viewers. I 
think I will try sending uh, Prism a message and see if they respond that I got tons of issues after the last update. So here we are, Lengazaka. Four K rabbit slope video. <laughs> Not sure. If it's worth going back there just to shoot. Night view of Rengasaka is nice, yeah. Looks like there's still some construction going down going on. Yep. Still a bit of construction going on. Creepy. <laughs> that that little wooden sculpture almost scared me so I think I will head down this way down to another area where I used to live which is uh, Higashi Koenji um, I actually want to see one of my favorite ramen shops is still around. I don't think it is. Yeah, the sound... Is it, is it weird to have the mic pointed towards me? Is it better to do, do it the other way around? I don't know. I mean, there's not that many other YouTubers that does live stream walks as far as I know there's like Action Kid John Dobb Virtual Japan and uh, yeah but is this stream so problematic? I felt I feel that this one is working quite well no? Yeah, I mean, some hiccups now and then, it's, that's just expected when it's mobile live streaming, so it's never gonna be 100% perfect, but as long as it's within reason, you should be fine. This stream is almost perfect. Okay, good. Perfectly imperfect. <laughs> yeah.
Oh, hello, Olive. Welcome back. Kind of shoes am I wearing? Uh, I'm just wearing my sneakers. I think you were hearing someone else's shoes. Uh, I think it was a woman wearing heels behind me a little while ago. Yeah, this is a very quiet residential area. Soon we will come to um, Higashi Koenji station on the Marunochi line which used to also be my home station for a short time probably eight years ago, ago or something like that I was living there for just half a year in a really really old house it was pretty miserable actually it was in the winter it was freezing cold it was literally like holes in the wall with like cold air blowing through so yeah pretty miserable um, although the neighborhood was quite nice oh, thank you two minute noodle thank you so much Fancy houses here. I don't know if I would call these houses very fancy, but uh, yeah, pretty normal, pretty standard Japanese or Tokyo neighborhood. It was from living here, I remember it was relatively affordable considering how central it is. The fact that it is so close to Shinjuku. But still, yeah, rents here are pretty cheap. Choco-chan, oh, arigatou gozaimasu. Super-chat, arigatou gozaimasu. Shiranai basho itte kurete, arigatou. Chiu-hon ni arete. Coffee, ka biru. Nande ne, arigatou gozaimasu. Arigatou gozaimasu. Where was the best apartment you lived? Uh, yeah, the current one, for sure. The place I'm living now is like kind of good standard. It's warm, it's isolated. There's no noise from the neighbors. The temperature is generally comfortable. It's easy and cheap to heat or cool. Isolation and a nice view. It's the biggest place I lived and of course the fact that I'm living there with my family not sharing with some strangers also makes it a far more attractive situation. I've always enjoyed this place though. I don't think I would want to live here but at least they have plenty of greenery. Uh, about the procedure to get permanent residency, I would suggest that you look that up on Google. Uh, I, I don't have permanent residency, so I cannot... I don't know. The only thing I know is that it takes some time, close to a year, I think. And that it involves quite a lot of paperwork. But, yeah. ...from people who has actually done that. If you look on Google. I always love local vegetable shops.
When are you moving to Norway? I don't know. I don't even know if I'm moving to Norway. We hope to move to Scandinavia in the next couple of years, but uh, that's about it. We don't really have a concrete plan yet. And with uh, the pandemic and everything, it complicates things. Another nice little local shrine. Jenny, your place isn't quiet, I see. Yeah. At least I hope it's well insulated enough so that you don't hear everything your neighbors are doing. Like some places here in Japan where it's literally walls made of paper. Or at least it sounds like that. A good benchmark, I guess, is if you can hear your your neighbors fart, then it's not good. Yeah, I think now being back in the city, the quality of the stream is what it's supposed to be. It's what it's usually been like the last couple of months. So no, I didn't figure out, but probably it's just the outskirt of Tokyo where I, where I was streaming from. Just didn't have that much of a stable uh, mobile up, upload signal. Yeah, well, there's a reason why I'm mentioning farting neighbors, because I've actually stayed in a place that was that bad in terms of soundproofing yeah now we're getting close to Higashi Koenji station let me check current battery wow 34 percent yeah the battery of the iPhone is not good could also be that the mic makes it battery drain even faster because it's getting its power from the phone it doesn't have any batteries yeah it's weird that i was able to shoot so many streams in like the rural parts of japan without much issues it is surprising to say the least And yeah, I always like this sign, coffee, tea, jazz, all we need in life. Yeah, I'm not gonna give up on the countryside streams though. Maybe it was just that oddly specific area that I was in this morning that just had really shitty cell phone signal. Let's see, now is the moment of truth. My old favorite ramen shop. Is it still here or not? Uh, it's not. It's this place, or it was this place. But now it looks like it has turned into uh, yakitori restaurant or something, or kushiyaki. Sad, really like that place.
was watching a stream from the other night and I do have to say the audio is highly improved. Great. Very happy to hear that. So, yeah, battery won't last me all the way to Shinjuku. So, maybe I'll just get a beer and sit down in this park. Should we do that? Or no, let's, let's walk a little bit further down this way. I want to check my old house, if it's still standing. It's about 10 minutes walk from, from the station. Maybe first a beer break and then check my old house. might want to use the OnePlus as a hotspot for your signal. Yeah, but that's really weird because the thing is the OnePlus doesn't support even half of all the Docomo frequencies, whereas my iPhone supports all of them. So it makes zero sense that the OnePlus would be better in that respect. Let's beer break and forget all our troubles, all our signal issues for a little while. Seven percent. Nah, not gonna have that fun. That much fun today. Oh, this one. Beer surprise. Two varieties of a brilliant harmony. Let's do that. Super animations. Let's beer. Let's beer break in the park. I think I deserve a beer after all, all the misery of today's dreams. Thank you, G-Man. Always. This is nostalgic though. This used to such a trip down memory lane. I haven't I don't come back here very often. Line. Don't come back here very often. Umeshuchu hi. Yes, Retsubiru. Park, the connection is unstable again. iPhone sensitive to trees, it almost feels like it. Oh, 
could also be that the mobile network is under today for some reason. Who knows? Pretty crowded though. Maybe we can sit down here. here. And this little Can you hear me well? Just fine, okay, good, good, good. So, let's beer. Come by. The Sapporo beer surprise. Hang waterfall in left, children in right. Yeah, then it's correct because the waterfall is on the left. I actually, when I turned around the mic, I also flipped the stereo channel. So what's left on the screen should also come from the left channel. So that's a good, good thing. Six percent alcohol. No, only five. Too much upload due to the details in the trees. Maybe that's actually not a bad um, uh, guess. You prefer cold beer? Yeah, absolutely. Beer that isn't cold is disgusting, in my humble opinion. How much data do you use per live stream? Ah. Oh. I think it's about two gigs per hour of stream. Last time I checked, something like that. Maybe I need to, maybe I should actually try to disable this uh, adaptive bitrate setting which makes the phone try to adjust the streaming quality uh, depending on the signal maybe that's actually causing more harm than it helps uh, do you have a big data plan yes i have unlimited data yes Guinness should be room temperature. Yeah, I guess. I'm not a big Guinness fan though. I think 1080p stream, it depends on the bitrate, but yeah, it's, it's pretty simple math actually. Take the bitrate per second times the length of the stream. Um,
Mm, this beer is good. I like it. The two varieties of a brilliant harmony. <laughs> it tastes a bit like... It's, it's pretty bitter, which I like. What is the surprise? I don't know. I don't know what they mean by that, but maybe that it's surprisingly good? Who knows? Where are we? We are in a tiny little park next to Higashi Koenji Station, where I am sitting down for a little beer, and then I will walk down to a neighborhood called Wada which is uh, pretty working class. I used to live there many, many years ago. Generally very cheap, um, but quite charming. I wanna check if my old house is still standing. And yes, this is live. This is me drinking beer live, live on YouTube. updates related to Tokyo Olympics read the news <laughs> I mean it's it's a constant I don't know I mean the constant thing they're saying is that it will be held as normal um, but now we're having a new state of emergency here in Tokyo starting tomorrow um, so yeah it might happen but I hope not Okay, let's get going. I want to make it to my old house before the battery dies. Yeah, to be honest, my guess is that it's uh, the update to Prism. That they probably tried to improve something, but that it backfired and made things less stable. That's the only... Oh, thank you, Wilson. Another beer later, <laughs> maybe. Uh, where are you from? Uh, you will find out. There used to be in this pond. I wonder. I saw some... Not sure. Just finished the beer goes into my side pocket until I find a trash can somewhere. Mm -hmm. How many times I moved during my time in Japan? Many. In the, especially in the first couple of years, I was moving around a lot 
because I was usually so for the first two years I was here on tourist visa so three months at a time so that was like four in the first two years I was switching apartments uh, four times and then it kind of slowed down a little bit I was living in a place for like one year maybe um, but basically up until I've moved to Nakano I was moving a lot because I was kind of usually spend the summer back in Sweden for like three months and back then I didn't own much at all so what I did was usually I just stopped renting the place and went back to Sweden and then when I came back I got a new place in order to not have to pay uh, rent while I was not here and back then I was mostly living in places that didn't have any like high initial fees so that was a way to save money but usually like, those places tend to be pretty bad condition Check the battery status again. 22%. Wow, that's pretty bad. It's basically. Yeah, we've been streaming for an hour. Well, 30% battery use in an hour. 35%. Not great. Um, did you get the foreign racism problem? Yeah, the xenophobia. It happened a couple of times, but. That's also one of the reasons why I was usually rent instead of having like proper real rental contracts, so to say. Um, so those kind of share houses tend to be more accommodating. When I was younger, I didn't mind. I thought it was mostly fun to share with others anyway. Um, but yeah, that actually before i moved into my with my wife like the place i lived in in nakano we were also five people sharing a big uh, house and that was great though they were all very nice responsible people um, might need a power bank i have a power bank thing is the iphone only has one input and that is currently being used for the mic. So I can't charge the phone while I'm streaming. So yeah, there's a lot of challenges when doing mobile live streams. All those problems usually have simple solutions when you first look at it, but then when you combine it with the fact that, yeah, it's supposed to work while streaming, things aren't as easy, so yes. What if you have a mic in order to get rid of the wind noise? Then you can't. And also when the phone is mounted on a gimbal, it's not so easy to have a cable dangling from it. So I'm trying my best here, folks. I'm really trying my best here to bring you the highest quality video and audio from Tokyo. use the mic for windy days the thing is today is not a windy day but there's still like every now and then there's a bit of wind that, that would be enough to give me like 10 people complaining in the chat over the wind noise because your people are so demanding you <laughs> you're a little bit too demanding sometimes to be honest some of you you think that everything is super easy when doing live streams mobile from a mobile like this but yeah it's not it's a challenge in so many ways and it would be great if you could be a little bit more understanding sometimes Yeah, like, I mean, I know that as soon as the signal drops for even one second, I get like 10 people thing 
It's like, okay, what am I going to do with that information? It's not like I can control the... It is. Sure, if it's like constantly shopping for minutes and minutes, that maybe you should go to a different area or something, but I don't need to know like whenever the signal drops for two seconds. It's, it doesn't really provide much useful info for me. Okay, enough, enough complaining. I will stop being grumpy. This used to be my local shopping street. There used to be a super sweet bento, bento shop down here with a super sweet old lady selling me bentos every now and then. Let's see if it's still around. I don't think I've been here on this street since I lived here actually. I think it was this one. Looks like it's still here, but just not open today. I will ask this bike shop. Sumimasen, is this a bento yasan? Yes, I don't know. Is it different? I lived in this area, but it's a little bit... The bento yasan was before there. Ah, it's not there? No, it's a bento yasan. Ah, that's good. I understand. Thank you very much. So I asked the old man running a bicycle shop and he said that Bento shop is no longer around. Unfortunately, there's a fish shop where it used to be. So yeah, now my phone is telling me that there's only 20% battery left, so this funky wall is still here. <laughs> yeah, it's it's sad that it's uh, that the bento shop is no longer around. Hope that old lady is still alive. I think she was running it with her husband actually. Where's my old house? Yeah, let's hope we can make it to my old house before the battery dies. New mic is awesome. Thank you. I'm so happy to hear at least something good today. <laughs> I, I love your videos. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Which part of the city is this? This neighborhood is called Wada. Um, it's not famous and like I said the nearest station is Higashi Koenji. If we keep walking this way there's like no train lines for quite some time um, down here. It's a pretty unremarkable and relatively cheap area but I, I actually really enjoyed living here. It, it feels it doesn't really feel that you're live feel like like you're living in in Tokyo a local smaller town so here's a big think was it a junior high school maybe pretty big junior high school here and then my house is just behind this I don't know one thing I could do is I can unplug the mic and try to plug in the power bank and see if it will automatically go back to the built-in mics then I can continue streaming uh, for a little bit longer should we try that but it is pretty windy now so then I know that lots of you are gonna complain about the wind place a disc on the wall yeah it's pretty cool still here lights so many Japanese 
house is called Heights, something something Heights, which is a weird name for a shitty two-story wooden apartment building. Love your widows no matter what. Thank you, thank you. Ah, oh, I remember this. They built this house when I was living here. This plot of land was for sale for a long time and then finally someone bought it and looks like, oh, wait, is it? I think my old house used to be here. Yeah, I think this used to be my old house. I think so. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a little bit sad. My old house is no longer here. They're building a new one instead. But considering the horrible condition it was in, it does make sense that they tore it down. It was in bad condition or eight years ago already. Yeah, flashbacks incoming. How long have you been living in Japan? Uh, 13 years. 13 years. So... Let me see, can I ask how much was the rent? I don't remember. I think I paid 80, 70 or 80,000 yen per month, including all the utilities. And it was relatively big actually, it was like 30 square meters. So it wasn't like one of these super tiny sized uh, homes. It was a little bit, it had like a separate kitchen and a bathroom with a bathtub and then a main room, so to say. 70,000 or maybe 80,000. So let me see. Yeah, 15% battery now. So it's either. What time is it? 16, 16. Maybe I should just end it. Sit down somewhere, charge, have a fully charged phone in time for sunset, and shoot a 4K video or two. the meaning of the street painted green I think it means that uh, cars are not allowed because it's a school zone but I don't know Yeah, I will head back to the to the park and the train station, and uh, I'll I'll let you join the walk back there if you want to. And then um, we will say goodbye. But yeah, I think this today's this stream was not so bad. Not as bad as this morning's. But yeah, when I get home, I will just upload those uh, to original files. And then I will, I'm not gonna give up on the Tamagawa Josui walking project. So I will continue that probably next weekend. Hopefully signal will be better. Hopefully we have sorted out the technology. Uh, stream on Monday, not sure. Not sure if I'll be able to and what the weather will be like. Uh, it looks like the weather will be pretty bad tomorrow. So I'm not expecting to be able to stream tomorrow. Thank you, Rockaway Siren. Wow. Only for me. Thank you.
Just remember the coffee shop. <laughs> yeah, the coffee shop was pretty amazing. Wouldn't mind going back there sometime. How long will it be? I, I don't know. I'm sorry, but I don't have any schedule or typical length. What's this? Hermit Crab House. Yeah, it, it's my, my streams are very random. You can never know what to expect. Uh, it might be annoying to some of you, but I think to others, that's also part of the charm. Chirping sounds crisp in T's new mic. Excellent. Excellent. That's that's great. If you can hear the birds chirping loud and clear, that should be relaxing. Oh yeah, I forgot this. This is a nice little shrine as so, well. Take a slightly different route back to the station. Thank you, Yari. <laughs> I give you for trying. 10 out of 10. Thank you. Livestream on Mount Takao. Um, considering how shitty the signal was this morning, I don't think it's realistic to expect that I'll be able to stream on, on uh, Takao now. Maybe if I do it like in 720p and very low bitrate, but then I know that I will get millions of comments about how bad the image quality is. So I don't think it's going to be worth it. Yotaru Kujo. Oh, you should sleep. We all need to sleep. What's the word to thank store clerk in Japanese stores? I usually use the word arigato gozaimasu, but I heard he use a different wording. Uh, arigato gozaimasu is fine. Uh, I often say domo, domo deshita, which is a little bit, I don't know how to explain it but it's a little bit more casual and feels more uh, representative as to I were as to, to how how I would talk to a store clerk um, in my native language arigato gozaimasu is very kind of textbook and very very polite a little too polite iPhone lightning port splitter. Is that a thing? I've never seen those. But yeah, if those exist and if it's able to carry both the mic and the battery signal or, or battery power, that would be that would be a neat solution. Absolutely. I'll look into it. When will you go back to the country? Which, which country? So yeah, this is Wada. That's the name of this neighborhood. It's in Suginamiku, which is the same uh, word as uh, Koenji. It's probably one of the more famous neighborhoods in uh, Suginamiku.
rural Japan. I don't know when I will be going to rural Japan next time. I don't know. How many kanji you know? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, once you reach a certain point, you, you stop counting. It just becomes... But I would say not knowing kanji is not a problem that I run into very often. It's more common for me to run into words that I don't know. I know the kanji, but I don't know what those two kanji together means sometimes. That happens. I'm very scientific or something. Uh, advanced then yeah my my kanji knowledge is probably not good enough but um, just looking on like normal TV programs and so on um, yeah kanji is usually okay この裏はあの、さっきの言った公園から駅も近いし。low battery 10% battery remaining okay fungus thanks for that heads up i didn't actually know that lightning lighting splitters existed then i will get one of those and see if that could help solve my issues have a beer another one i just had one if i have one more it might uh, filmmaking capabilities fried pizza sorry sold out okay Fried pizza. What's fried pizza? I mean, from Tohoku? No. Soon. Um. Yeah, back here around the park. It's really like, it feels like greenery is devastating to the signal strength. Wireless charger, okay. Yeah. Wireless charging. Space ganai. Um, but yeah, I'm back at the station. So let's just wave goodbye here. And uh, uh, I will see you again soon. Do you like pineapple on your pizza? Yes, I do. And many of my viewers already know that I do. I think pineapple on pizza is great. And I'm not ashamed to admit it. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for watching and apologies for the technical issues. It's the nature of mobile live streaming. So please be nice and understanding that things doesn't always work perfectly, just like in Life in general, there's always some bumps on the road every now and then. But I'm not going to let that stop me. Okay, so that'll be it for today. Thank you so much, and I shall see you all soon again. Bye-bye. Matane. Heido.